God, look at all of you. I don't know where you came from. Um, you know, in the first uh, tea camp we had, we had 100 people registered. This tea camp, we cut off registration at over 600. So that is, uh, that's really amazing. This is some community that we are all building. It's, it's just, it's fantastic. Um, I was also going to ask uh, how many people had ever been to tea camp before, but I saw that, that uh, raising of hands already had never been before. And that is equally fantastic and exciting for us to introduce more people to, uh, to both this kind of conference and kind of event uh, about the issue that we all obviously care a lot about. So you already know I'm Ellen Miller, and I couldn't be more proud to be the executive director and co-founder of the Sunlight Foundation. But honestly, I am one of the least important people, uh, least important people in this Sunlight Foundation organization. You've already seen most of the hands of staff, and many of them, of course, are outside. Um, but they are the people who make events like this run. They are the people who develop the amazing tools, the databases, the reporting, who are ahead on terms of leading and, and working with everyone in terms of policy changes that we need. And so I want to just initiate a big a round of applause for all the hard work that Sunlight does all the time. So thank you, everyone. And, and they're clearly multi-talented. The last time I saw Matt, he was not operating a slideshow. So uh, he was a, he's a policy wonk, actually. Uh, so as many of you know, we just celebrated our seventh birthday, and it's been an amazing seven years. Someone a few days ago said, how much stuff and, and tools and websites have you created? And I said, I don't know, I actually stopped counting after the first 18 months when we had created 18 tools and websites uh, and databases. Um, but one of the most important things that I think we have done has been to help catalyze this larger community of data freaks, geeks, hackers, policy wonks, government officials, people just like you who care about our democracy, how to make our democracies work better and how to open up closed societies. So let's not forget the other critical actors too who have been part of our community since the beginning. Elected officials, government officials, people in cities, in states, in counties, and here in Washington and from around the globe. Without you, we make no progress. So thanks to many of you for coming to TCAMP as well. Transparency Camp has been a great spark to the open government and open data movements. Many of our achievements really happen, and you'll see this later in the day, at the individual level, the conversations you have in the small meetings, the conversations you have in the halls. Um, and I hope all of you or many of you will leave with new insights into your work or insights into others' work that will help you work together, concrete plans to improve what you are doing or to start something new. The connections between us are what are so critically important in this movement. And if it were not for the dreaming that we encourage at TCAMP and the ideas, we wouldn't have Code for America, so I'm sure there's some code people here. So the idea for Code for America came out of a session uh, here at Transparency Camp. Um, we wouldn't have city camps, another idea that was spawned here, or transpa transparency uh, hackers in Brazil. We might not have had Transparency Camp in Poland, which has led to all kinds of terrific uh, work there by our Polish colleagues who are also here, or Transparency Works in Lithuania, or an upcoming tea camp in Uruguay. So the movement that we have helped to catalyze has not just been in the US, and we have so many wonderful international visitors that I hope you have a chance to meet and go to their sessions as well. It is also important to remember that Transparency Camp fits into a larger bucket of, um, that, uh, of work that's going on in this country and uh, the culture that we live in that's much larger than the people in this room. Because we do this work in the larger context of how technology is changing the, the, uh, the power of individuals, the role of government, and the relationship between citizens and the state. Before our eyes, dramatic new ways of identifying and gathering information and organizing stakeholders in our democracy that would have seemed like fantasy um, dreams a few years ago are actually taking hold and happening. And we are working in this age of networked technologies that, dis that are disrupting hierarchical institutions, from government legislatures to regulatory agencies to health providers and public utilities, indeed, even governments themselves. 
these new modes of open democratic institutions that we are nurturing and collaborating to develop must be actively nurtured, and that's why we invest in, in putting on Transparency Camp every single year. So welcome to two days of conversations, of fun, there's lots of fun to be had, collaborations, and serious discussions about how we the people can improve our democracy. And finally, I want to thank the sponsors of TCAMP, uh, and you saw their names earlier, uh, among them uh, Google, Gaggle AMP, Governing Magazine, Pew Charitable Trust, uh, GW School of Media and Public Affairs, Eventbrite, NOI, Watchdog.org, Open Hatch, GitHub, Forum One, Granicus, and U.S. Congress Handbook. I think this is the most number of outside sponsors who directly sponsored TCAMP that we have ever had. Um, and I want to thank our development shop for helping that, uh, that happen. But I also want to take just a minute to thank Sunlight's other core funders as well. Michael Klein, who is a co-founder uh, with me, the Omidyar Network, the Knight Foundation, and Google.org, the Ford, Open Society, Hewlett and Stanton Foundations, and the Rockefeller Family Fund, along with many, many individuals. Sunlight has a policy which we encourage all of you to do, which I think makes great sense in, in, the, in the business that we are in, which is in transparency. We list every single one of our donors, anyone who gives us over $250 on our website. I think it's good policy for organizations like ours, and so you're welcome to, to browse through that list uh, should anyone have any questions. Um, and a special thanks to two Sunlighters in particular, Lindsay Young and Lauren Ellen McCann, our great leaders. Without them, none of us would be here today. So thanks, everybody, and have a good time.